Hey guys, Guru Adams here and my student Lonnie. And today we're working on some stuff for his next uh, sash test, which is oh, gray. Gray, yep. Gray in this, and we've been doing the box pattern already, so now we're moving on to off angle four, which is the backhand low angle snake to arm bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate what that is. He's coming in low at my hip, angle four. That's a backhand uh, low at my hip. So you have angle one, angle two, angle three is forehand. Angle four is backhand at the hip. So he's coming in backhand at my hip. I'm gonna do low wing block, snaking his arm to arm to arm straight arm bar. And I got the stick where his tricep meets his elbow joint. And I have my follow ups. I also have my strip. Now I have two sticks and he has one. So he's coming in low angle four. I'm gonna do low wing block. This could be a strike here with a knife. It could be a cut or a stab or, or a check. Snake in his arm, elbow meets the tricep. I got that straight arm bar there. I can need the face or the shoulder. And then I got my strip. So we're gonna switch sides. <clears throat> Hopefully the camera's picking up. I got it on a wide angle. I got it on like a wide angle, so it looks like movie theater. <laughs> so he's coming in angle four low. I'm gonna check it low like that, snake right away, and then hit and boom like that. What makes things like this work is, you know, I've already hit him and dinged him, and maybe he's getting a little bit winded and tired. He's coming in low. I'm just blocking it, going straight into the arm bar, bam, like that. Smash and then pop like that. And I got my follow up. So now I'm gonna feed Lonnie the same thing back. Low backhand, he's gonna do low wing like that. Snake in my arm, getting the stick in my tricep and elbow. He's got that arm bar and he can fire in that, that, that knee right there. Yeah. And, and the stick really digs into the nerve. <laughs> Even just taking it easy, I can really feel it. So we'll, we'll switch sides again. I'm coming in low. Maybe I went high. Okay. High, low, like long range, up some rata. We're coming in like this. So basically, I might go here and then it might come back this way. And he does his low wing check like that. Snake in my arm. He's getting control of my elbow and going for straight arm bar with the stick. And it's, it's painful just demonstrating. I'm filming this. <laughs> the <laughs> stick hits an early arm. Yeah. And it doesn't feel yeah. good at all. Yeah. Yeah. And he's and firing that knee to the shoulder, the face, and he can strip. Now he's got two sticks, I have nine. You know. Back in the 80s, we would actually stick fight for 10 sticks back then. So angle two is coming in low. He does low wing block. It's a straight arm, a straight arm bar like that. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, it's such a tight lock. So let's see what's next. Uh, snake. This is off angle one, which is that forehand strike. Snake, snake and lock. So he's feeding me angle one, that forehand, that forehand strike. Angle one is coming down across the X. From the open forehand side down across the X. I'm do inside sweep and block it, you know. And I can snake it just like that. This is a strike here. I'm grabbing the stick. And I'm going to make a fist with both hands onto his arm. Very, very painful in the, the bone, the nerves, the tendons, and all that is all just right there getting crushed. So hopefully I've already, you know, you know stabbed him and hit him. Inside deflection like that. So back over here. Oh, yeah, I don't know if the angle is going that far. I'm going to double check. I'm using vertical uh, here. Good. We're using vertical phone, so it won't look as good on the TV. So inside deflection, snaking it. This is a strike right here. I'm grabbing a stick. It's not the most practical lock, but you know, what if you end up. You know, I end up here, oh gosh, or he's pulling the stick back to his face. I have that lock. You know, maybe it ends up there somehow. So forehand angle's coming in. Snaking it, striking my arm. Yeah, that's a go. Grab it and squeeze it. Let me do it one again. I think I have inside deflection. I'm gonna snake, wrap my hand around his. I'm using an overhand grip right here. So both hands are overhand. I think you were grabbing the underhand, mm -hmm. which might not be as tight. Okay. Okay. So I'm coming in the one. He's gonna do inside deflection. He's wrapping his hand around my wrist. Okay. That's the snake. 
Good. Smash, and he's gonna keep that overhand grip right here. Palm down, he's just gonna squeeze it. Yeah. And just start wrapping the stick in your fist. Yeah, yeah, he just make, yeah, he just, <laughs> he just makes a fist like that. It actually makes all that get tighter and smaller and tighter. Yeah, just making a fist holding the stick, tightens it all up. Yeah, snake, striking it, you know, ah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's even worse without the sweatshirt covering the arm. Because now it's digging it, it's gripping the skin, and it's digging in better. So, that's off angle one. Let's do one more. Okay. Off angle one. Arm and neck lever. So, this, this was a, you know, it's a possibility. <laughs> so, angle one's coming in. Here, come, here, stay right there. So let me see, is Lonnie still in the picture over there? Barely, that's as far back as you can go. Okay. So he's coming to angle one, I'm gonna inside deflection, and I'm striking his arm here, and I'm cutting into his neck, like that, and I'm wrapping his hand over like that. Oh, yeah. so that's just a possibility. In reality, maybe I'll get him off balance for a moment to, to hit him. So he comes to angle one, and I hope I've already hit him, loosened him up, oh, oh, kicking him. He's coming back on screen. Inside deflection, this is a strike here and a hit right here. I'm just gonna get him off balance with that. Normally on this one, I do a foot, I use a foot trap, just like that. You can, you can throw him that way. So I'm pretty sure Lonnie's still on the screen. Barrel. So you gotta be right there or over here. There we go. So you remember this one? So I'm putting Lonnie on the spot. Yeah. Inside deflection, and just hold the meat in the hand like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. here. This strike right that's here, you can use the stick, yeah, that's or right. you could even use your arm to kind of bend my arm like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, you're just holding the meat in the hand. So here, oh yeah. gosh, and like, like that. that. And he can throw me that way. Lonnie's got the upper body uh, strength to, to actually probably be able to toss me that way or step on my foot. If anything, he could, he could just flip me into the wall, uh, bang my head, and he could go from there. Single so one's coming in. I'm just saying inside deflection, I'm kind of holding the meat of the hand. And you could use your own arm into that. Mm -hmm. or, you could, or it could be a, a, a stick strike. I could, if I had this, if you let go of the stick, but I don't have this no more. Mm -hmm. but this could be here. I got that one. Oh. That. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So this one got the oh, puno. I got I'm underneath the puno. Yeah. So you can try underneath the pinion where you catch the hand here, maybe. Inside sweep, yeah, yeah look here, like that. And this strike, this strike kind of bends my arm. He catches my neck. He's, yeah, he twists it. If anything, he could just go boom, toss me into the wall. I bang my head. And then if your hand is here, you also have the strip. Okay, so it's kind of a, it's kind of an awkward one. I never really liked it, but it's a possibility. If I'm hitting him. He's there and he comes back with that back hit because the back hand is in position. Yeah, smack because he that is a natural movement there. And from there, you know, if I bend my arm, he's got that lift and toss, yeah. you know, into the furniture or the wall, or just getting me off balance to follow up. So bang. Yeah, that's just made, that's the way to go out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But from there, the foot trap or the sweep can be involved too. So if he's in yeah. one. I can go inside the flexion, I can grab the knee of the hand and strike here and then go that way. Don't have much of a grip there. I can also control the wrist right here like that. At that point, I've already stepped on his foot. I usually go for the, whichever one's in front, really. You kind of have both of them the yeah. same distance. So inside the flexion, if I did grab underneath the puño, I can use my hand here to pull that back. This is also a smash. And there's my little, if anything, got them off balance. Just like that. Quick switch tackle. Okay, let's do. So this one's off angle one, the quick switch to the, the tackle. So he feeds me angle one. I'm going to be inside the flexion and switch the stick around to the bash there. And there's my tackle. I can go single leg, single leg tackle. At this point, I'm running. Uh, straight forward into him using my shoulder and lifting up on his leg. Yeah. I can go for one leg or two. Works really good against two legs. So, 
So I'm hitting inside deflection, switching into the strike there. Then from there, I got both legs. I'm behind both knees. Let me just double check to see if you guys can still see that. Yeah, it's kind of cut. So we gotta stay right about here. Okay. So he's coming in angle one with the cambiata. Boom. Switch. I got both legs. If I have a long stick, my sticks are kind of short, so I might would go for one leg. I'm using a foot trap, but in reality, I'm gonna just drive. I'm gonna run straight out the door, or straight down the field. So I'm gonna let Lonnie try it. It's gonna do inside deflection. He's gonna switch. That's a smash to my head. So from there, you just come in with the shoulder. <laughs> I'm basing out so you can only get one leg. But in reality, he'll probably get both legs if I step backwards. Yeah, when he's doing that, he's coming and hitting me. Uh, we've done it in full contact fighting. That's about where he'll end up is like that. He's got me at that point. He just has to kind of run forward I'm on the back. So we used to use that a lot at Gibson's when we did full contact with her tan. Yeah. Ting, ting, ting. Yeah, come behind Quick switch, and I want to step back with that. But he's got, he's really got, yeah, he's really got me. <laughs> and there he's got an arm bar too. I mean, a leg lock. Yeah. So, it says arm lever. Off angle one. So that's going to be different than the other one. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll stop right there for you. We'll come back for more later. Hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe, like, comment, and hit the bell icon for more uh, alerts for uh, upcoming videos that we're going to do. And we'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Thanks.